Hello and welcome back to Polynardic Plays Fallout 4 for the Xbox One. Um, if you were just watching the last installment, we uh, finished the big dig. It resulted in us uh, turning on Bobby and uh, came back here to drop off yet another set of power armor and get quite the collection here. I just need a right arm for this guy. If I get a right arm, I could slap his arms on that dude and he'd be all the same type of armor. I might do that at some point, just go on a little adventure, just collect any sort of power armor variants I could find. Not what I wanted to do, thank you. You know what? Let's, let's do that and that. What do we need here? Red Rock needs food and water, huh? While we're here, let's throw out some food and water. That's right, without any settlers to actually work it, it won't matter, so that corn will be gone eventually. <clears throat> but anyway, we're moving on. We're gonna go. What do they have here? Guess we go back to the insane asylum. I didn't expect Jack to be there. Alright. I figured Jack would be closer to home. By this point. Dead guards everywhere. I don't like admitting it. If you think this is bad, you should see some of the blokes I beat up at the combat zone. <laughs> Kate. Let huh. me know if you find some spare ammo. Heads up. Need something? Time to trade a few things. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Heads up. Point. Doubt what you need, and I'll get right on it. All right. Oh, I didn't see that guy. Excuse me. 
Hi, you're back. Good news. I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. <laughs> There's no way to control it without direct neural input. Or better or worse, all of that was destroyed when my father died. But you still have a rather powerful directed force. Here, see what you think. Damage 25. Takes camera rounds. Okay. You made a neat gun. <coughs> Thanks. I hope you find <laughs> a neat gun. Thing. As for myself, I don't know. Maybe I'll finally travel to the southwest. My father was always convinced that there was another alien city buried somewhere in the Mojave Desert. All right. Mission accomplished, we're leaving. Now we're going back to Good Neighbor, and we're going to do the Silver Shroud stuff. It's a quest line I've been wanting to do for a while. So much going on here, let's see. Alright, unfortunately it means I wanted to go What am I about to lose? Oh, I probably should have hat too while I'm at it. Look alive. Trade some crap weather here. Sure, just keep your shirt on. Radio, silver shroud radio. News. Radio. Calling all silver shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. Anyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss Selmy and her kid? So, what kind of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? I've got a few minutes to browse. Murder and mayhem at a discount. What? No, I don't want to spend twelve hundred dollars. No. Well, well, well. Looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the track. Have a minute. <laughs> yeah, wrong side of the tracks. I, I'm just meeting a friend. No business of yours. Uh, perhaps I'll just call him. Who's the red? She's got that stab your eye with a screwdriver look. Just like my old lady. <laughs>
What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have been <laughs> gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with. Hey, we have a similar gun. The show for Shroud Radio. Find it yet? What's the holdup? I got a lot of boxes, okay? Just hold on to your ass. Hardly. It's like all I'm good for Here, is waiting around. Here, let me show you. Huh? The contents of the late mayor's case. Ugh, bloody nose. Sit. Where'd that come from? But these are real estate papers. Leases and deeds from most of the businesses in Scarlet Square. Every second Indeed, you they eyes. are, my intrepid investigator. It would seem our Mayor Murphy was involved in a rather crooked caper. He was here to Come meet with out. some other Promise mysterious malefactor. Yes. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I hope you found a way. <laughs> what the? Still a shroud. And this Mr. Murphy. And the mayor. You hear that? Dad? It's getting rained on over here. Fat Fatey, the infamous Fat Boss. So, you were meeting with Mr. Murphy. Oh. Why? You may yet live. The deadly shin shot. Just listen to my friend, Fahey. I'll never talk. And you two are in over your heads. So be it. Death has come for Something's you, evil us. doer, and I am it. Back me up, Shroud. Shroud. <laughs> I'll just get warmed up. Yes. 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 Silver Shroud, you're shot. Uh, just a graze. You must go after him. No, we'll let our quarry flee for now. That well, bullet must be removed. Be and you're bow bleeding bow. badly. Must get back to my... Hush now, Stoic Shroud. I'll take you to my parlor. It is close, and that wound is worse. Come out, and I'll do you the parlor. It's been so long. Indeed it has, old friend. Old love. And now, we must away! Face of the neck. That'll do it. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver Shroud. You've been listening to Galaxy News Radio, a wholly owned subsidiary of Galaxy News Network. Galaxy! Radio. When evil walks.
walks the streets of Boston. One man lurks in the shadows. Yo, Psst. have any goodies for me? Yeah, put the shotgun down. Put that in my face. Play the calling card. Come out with your hands up. Friend of the show, Jerry is here. Is this thing on? Hello. Hello. It's on. We're recording in here. Oh man. Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market and kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You're back. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, The memory why? den's not accepting the Shroud guy, right he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have k killed people. Yeah, I'm in no hurry to finish it. And? I'm experiencing everything. Plus that whole playing once a week thing doesn't help. My turf clown, and I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Come on, look alive. What is it? Over here. No problem. Oh, gee, Polly. Hey, oh, she's in position. I've never been in a secret gangster hideout before. Hi. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown, and I don't appreciate what you call them. Trespasses. You, AJ? The dealer who sells to children? Yeah, that's me. I'm a entrepreneur. I'm making a new market. Chems for kids, I call it. Cherry flavored jets, bubble gum oh, men's son of a bitch. Them Diamond City kids just. Nah, there's still a lot I haven't done, come across yet. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face. The Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. We can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. 
I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Seems like you're making a lot of trouble for something that isn't our business. Screw you. Waste the freak. Don't forget to share. <laughs> oh, you do? Crime fighters? What a laugh. And you call me predictable. You don't got any idea, do you? The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. Oh, I'm only like five or six main story missions in. Um, I've done almost nothing for the Brotherhood of Steel. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. But I mean, I mean, truthfully, I don't have any direct numbers of what's left because I didn't bother to read any spoilers or anything. Charlie serves the drinks. I deal with the drops. <sighs> That's all of them. Fat fees, mob bots have been sent back to the mechanical hell that, that, that spawned them. Costume? Hey, hey, Charlie. Yes, my Make way for paying customers. And no, you look like one of them wankers from the posters. Were. What you but wearing that for? Fahey's. For he himself presented. You look upon Someone the else. silver shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. Shroud, then? Well, I am not. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. Can you spare a few details on her, at least? On the house? You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a murderer. A very skilled murderer. Listen, mate, the combat scan shows you know what you're about. Save your caps by a logger instead. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud <laughs> and right. This quest is ridiculous. <laughs> Justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighters she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that one. Good luck. We can kick it up all night. We can put it on the tree. Better get it down in time. I need you in the middle. You can show me what you got. Yeah, I did just find out the other day that this is Linda Carter. Freaking Wonder Woman is singing these songs. Another special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming a good neighbor. You'll see. Galaxy. No. I'll save this for when I come back. Radio. When evil walks the 
streets of Boston. What? See the damn dog. Only I, the mechanist, truly understand the folly of human cunning. The flesh is weak. Metal is the future of Massachusetts. The only future you have is a long neck in a deep hole, mechanist. To me, you're just another two bit hustler with delusions of. Nothing but alliteration, that's funny. Hey down there, mechanist, you robot wannabe. Remember me? No? I didn't think so. That's the problem. You made me, but you didn't love me. Yeah, that's kind of how I always end up playing these Fallout games. I always end up way over leveled by the end because I I just keep doing stuff to level up. <clears throat> I mean realistically that's where the real joy in the game is anyways, all the side quests and whatnot. Oh shit. No, don't fall. Damn it. I saw what a mechanist went. He's in that office. Up the stairs. Well done, heroic. Your adjusted attitude has made allies of us all. Silver Shroud, shall we? We shall. You die now, you. Where'd you go? Huh? Stop right gonna there. find Not you. Closer. Gonna kill you. My robot children. Mr. 
problems. So where the hell did you guys got problems? Yeah, I saw that you finished it. I didn't see which. I mean, you obviously you didn't say which one you were playing as, but where the hell are these guys coming from? Yeah, isn't the Brotherhood the one you accidentally ended up doing, though? We have the why, but not the who. Sound shroud. Unmask this mystery. And reveal the man beneath the metal. Yes, it is time we knew the truth. Who is the Mechanist? By the rays of Ra, the Mechanist is none other than... Came from. You could turn your little hobby into a full time endeavor. And the real estate papers? I know where the hell I'm going. That's why I hate when a missions are out in the city. A spiteful sham. All to throw us off the trail. <laughs> yes. It was a master plan. Now, <laughs> I need a doctor and ambulance. Stalwart shroud. Could it be? Just getting further and further away from where I need to be. Uh, here, Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, the only thing I've read is that apparently I'm done with the Minutemen quest, other than the uh, the Radiant things. At least till we get closer to the end. Oh, that was a good one. It's only 
I need to heal myself here. Oh man, she's throwing my pulse grenades. Laser shotgun, basically. I didn't give her that. She must have picked that up. Where the fuck am I going? Watch the grenades. This can only be a den of mysteries. Shh. Be still, sweet trout. I removed that scumbag slug, but you're sick with fever and still suffer. Where the hell am I supposed to be going here? Some tough long johns that guy's got on.
Where did that come from? I hate that I gotta be wearing this damn get up for this. Chief, they ain't here. They're gone. I was hoping to say that officer we were with. I was Shit. hoping to say that. Austin. What will become of our stalwart hero? Find out what happens next week on another exciting episode of The Silver <laughs> Oh, a bright light in my face, I hate that. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one that <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, you got in my way too. That guardian is the silver shroud. Today's episode, Fat Fakey Molly. Come on, doll face. It's right through here. Damn it. Make sure we're uh Oh gee, Paul. I ain't never been in a secret gangster hideout before. What the Paul, you dumb jamoke! What's the big idea? Bringing a dame into our hideout. Into my hideout! Uh you can wear power armor with it? Yeah, I don't ever like I'm just collecting power armor at this point. <laughs> I think I've used it just to go out of the glowing sea, that's all I've used it for. Of course I'm all right. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy the one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing right. with. I do so like it when the little bug Last crawls willingly into the spider's breath. You have taken your last <laughs> life, villain. You stole my line. <laughs> <laughs> So shall good neighbor assassinate Shelly Tiller. <laughs> Alright, enough of that for now. Let's can you can inspect it? Damn. on these guys from the from the other side. Yeah, I've actually got all my little armor pieces are so deep pocketed that I lose carry capacity when I hop into power armor.
what enemies are nearby? We can do this thing again where I can't find good neighbor. A dirty wastelander recipe. Forty dog. Wow. What a dick. Dog almost killed me. To hell. Yeah, my uh, my default um, without power armor is like at four hundred. <clears throat> stim packs. Let's go do some stim packs. Like I don't have plenty of them. Top. Yep, there you are. Don't ask questions, Better for everyone. Mayor Hancock? Well, if it ain't Bobby's <sighs> little patsy, here, for protecting my stash. Wise decision putting Bobby down like that. Yes, my colleague. So, we're okay? We are. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little dry corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. Can you just leave, good neighbor? Aren't you the mayor? Hey, the mayor's still the mayor whether he's in residence or not. I keep meaning to add a, a jetpack to one of my sets. I can't let power get to my head. That's not what being in charge of good neighbor is about. Well, see you around, Hancock. Yeah, you too. Gonna take some time to think about all this. If you ever need a good looking ghoul to watch your back, let me know. Hancock. Well, look who's back. You ever think about having an exquisitely handsome and deadly ghoul at your side? Maybe later. Hey, ain't like I got anything else to do besides to wait around, get high, and be mayoral. 
Hey, Hancock. Well, look who's back. You ever think about <laughs> Am I not going to be able to advance this quest now? Is that what's happening here? Alright. Say I take you with me. What's that look like? I'm a man of the people, you know? I like getting out there and helping the little guy. And then stabbing anyone trying to keep them down. You already tried to knock over someone else's stash, so I know we see eye to eye on the getting your hands dirty part of life. So, what do you say? All right, Hancock. You're in. Before we head out, I gotta have a little chat with the community. I'll meet you afterwards. Spoil all the fun. I gotta come on. Let's be feet. I have a mission to do. Fine, you amoral automaton. We're away. Yeah, I don't think it'd be very useful, other than like I did see there's some like a it was either a bobblehead or a, a legendary set of armor that you could only get to with it. Because we don't have the ability to do no console commands. No rush. Everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a yes, walk. An hour it's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. For the gathering Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what the hell is like. You can't leave, Hancock. Robots. Dozens of them. All sheep. We need you. Hey, I'm always going to be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you got to spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good neighbor of the people for the people. And don't let no one forget it. Hey, Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Not now. Suit yourself. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Not now. Suit yourself. Alright, apparently I can't finish this quest with, uh... Ugh. All right, I'm gonna fast travel. I'm gonna drop Kate off up at Red Rocket. something wrong I don't know you tell me after Tommy stuck me with you I was expecting to hate your guts not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help now so far you've been treating me like a friend Hallie you've been damn near nice to me <laughs> now I don't mean to sound ungrateful but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. Surviving the combat zone must have been rough. That's putting it nicely. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. 
Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? Hey. Need some? Yeah. <clears throat> Kate, I think it's time for you to leave. I'll head out. <laughs> After that I'm conversation, that's funny. I'm happy about it. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Yep, right here. Alright, then we'll go back to Good Neighbor. Hey, there he is. Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do it. Done. All right. Hey. I take requests. Playing dress up is fun and all, but you walk into something a whole lot bigger. Those low lifes you've been taking out for Kenny Boy, we all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's gonna want some good old-fashioned revenge. The dig. So who is this asshole? His name's Sinjin. He's taken two-bit raider outfits and made them... scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... I happen to know where some of his other boys are. Smiling Kate operates outside of Bunker Hill. And Northy's got a pad over at Prospect Hill. You take them out. And maybe we can find out where the big guy himself is stashed. Good neighbor would rest a whole lot easier with him out of the picture. I'm up for some community service. Hmm. You know, you're all right. You take care of Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show some gratitude. You feel me? Smiling Kate and Northy. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a break real quick. I can use the restroom. Refill my water, all that mess. I'll be right back, though. <laughs> 